Welcome to the Mindset Unleashed Today podcast. My name is Tommy Gucciato, and I'm excited to share my insights and experiences with you to help you shift your mindset and improve your life. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be exploring different areas of life, discussing how to make positive changes. Now, I'll be doing this by interviewing guests who can provide additional perspectives and their experiences. I believe that by making a mindset shift, we can all unleash our full potential and create the lives we want to live. I hope you'll join me on this journey. How you doing, everyone? I want to welcome everybody back to the Mindset Unleashed Today podcast. I'm Tommy Gucciato, and I'm your host. So, you know, I hope you've been getting something out of these last few weeks. And, you know, I, I like to talk about things that are on my mind and things that happen to me, you know, and, and hopefully you guys can relate to this kind of stuff. And, and the one thing that I struggle with, and I still do from time to time, is self-talk, right? And, you know, self-talk could be positive, but it also could be negative. Now, the positive side of self-talk is that, you know, for me, you know, I, I, I like to talk my, I like to talk to myself, not talk myself into problems, but try to talk myself out of problems and work things out before I act on them, right? So when I'm doing positive self-talk, you know, I, I'm having a dialogue with myself that's helping me communicate with others because if I act on first impulse sometimes, I'm definitely very negative and, you know, I could cause problems and, you know, sometimes my mouth gets away from myself, right? So I use that self-talk to kind of calm myself down, put me in the right frame of mind, and, and, and really, you know, be able to deal with situations on an everyday basis. But for me, that negative self-talk, that's the stuff that really, you know, it took me a really long time to get over and, and get around. And, you know, and I still struggle with it from time to time. And, you know, like if things happen, if things come up in life, you know, where I don't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit insecure and not, you know, not comfortable with situations. You know, I could get myself into a tizzy and, and I could talk myself into, you know, you know, catastrophes and calamities. But, you know, where it really started with me, you know, when I was really young, man, I felt really insecure. And I really felt insecure about a lot of things, you know. Maybe it was my, I, you know, my... my Family pushed me toward education, and I wasn't comfortable with education. You know, I, I didn't feel I was smart. So I, I always thought that I was dumb, and I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't, you know, smart like everybody else. And I used to tell that to myself. You're dumb. You're never going to get this. You know, um, you know, stop studying. Why do you study? You know, you're only going to fail. And, you know, that stuff kind of like spiraled into, you know, into my later life. And... You know, anytime something happened, you know, I'm a loser, I'm a bum, here you go again, you know, um, you're not good enough, you're not worth it, you know, you just failed at something else, you failed at another marriage, you failed at another business, but, you know, that's just stuff in my head, and when negative self-talk takes control, you know, it, it could derail you, it could, you know, could make you crazy, it can make you depressed. Um, you know, some people can get suicidal thoughts from it. You know, I never got that far, but I've got really depressed over, you know, my own self-talk and my own stuff in my own brain, you know, telling me that I'm not worth it. So, you know, over the years, you know, I tried to combat it, right? And I start learning and I start, you know, talking to other people and how they battle this kind of stuff. And, and the couple of things that, that, you know, I really started working on was, you know, I started practicing, you know, positive self-talk. You know, anytime I said, you know, that I'm not worth something or, you know, here you go, you failed again, you know, say, I am worthy, right? I can do this, you know. Um, you know, if you're at work and you're having a problem, I can I could fix that problem. You know, it's not like I can't, I can't, I, I won't do it, I'm not going to be able to, it's all positive stuff. And, you know, it might take a little bit of time. It might sound cheesy at the beginning. Like, you know, you're talking to yourself saying, I'm worth it, right? But, you know, over time, you'll get used to it. And then, you know, you'll be aware of when those negative thoughts come in. And you'll be able to act on them, right? And you'll be acting on a positive light instead of a negative light. So you take your negative thinking and you switch it around to a positive, right? And, and that's really, really important, you know, the positivity. You know, and... and you know, another thing that I that that you know I've helped along the way was meditation. And I'm not the type that's gonna just you know sit you know in a you know cross legs and you know you know meditating crazily. But when I'm meditating, it's very simple. You know, I just stop. I quiet my mind, and I just stop. 
You know, I don't act on anything. I don't do anything. I just quiet my mind. And, you know, that little, you know, sidestep, you know, helps you and helps me to get myself back into the moment, right? And understanding that, you know, things happen in life, whether they're good or bad, they happen in life. And, and you know, let's figure out how to move forward from it, whether it's a good experience or a bad experience, right? Figure out how to move forward from it. And, and you know, and that's helped me along the way. You know, another thing that I've done is, you know, in the past, you know, whatever I'm feeling, whether a positive or negative, I always kept it to myself. I never share it with people. I always sit with it and I just let it, you know, fester and manifest and, you know, even good stuff can manifest. But, you know, like when that negative stuff manifests, you know, it, it, it can take you to places that you don't want to be. And for me, you know, it was incarceration and, and, and addiction, you know, and, and that made me feel better. And that made me feel good is, you know, getting out of myself. And I did it with the drug. Right. And but that was just a temporary fix. So, you know, today, you know, when I'm having rough days or when things aren't going right, you know, I reach out to people and I talk to them and, and I try to find out, you know, what's making me have these problems or what's making what's making my mind tell me I'm not worth something, right? When everything else on the outside, you know, is saying that I am worth it, but why am I still saying to myself I'm not worth it? So, you know, I try to pinpoint the problems and, and you know... And everything's in life is a work in progress, right? I'm a work in progress. You guys are a work in progress. But, you know, like, it, it just takes a simple thing. Like, like I said before, you know, just that positive affirmation. Just being positive and taking the negative and make it into a positive, you know, shifts your mindset, right? And once you shift your mindset, a lot of things happen in life, right? Good things start happening to you. You start having blessings come to you. And I talk about this all the time is the blessings, you know? And, um, you know, and, and it leads me to my last point, right? And, and, you know, it's staying in the moment. And for me, and I'll talk about this all the time, man, you know, it's easy for me to, you know, in the past was easy for me to, to focus on the past, right? And all the bad things that happened and say, hey, you know, my mind would start going that, you see, you're not going to get anything done. You're a bum. You're a loser. You're not going to accomplish anything in life. And because something happened 10 years ago, what happened 10 years ago is not happening today, right? What happens 10 years ago is not happening today. So if I start staying more in the moment, and I'll talk about this a lot, staying more in the moment, staying present in life, you know, is a huge thing. And it took me a real long time to understand that, you know, and... You know, once you start understanding that, things change, right? You deal with situations as they come. You don't worry about them. You don't stress over them. You figure it out, right? We figure it out. We don't dwell on them. I don't let my mind shift and wander and, you know, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. You know what? I can do things. I can be successful. I can have a life, you know? And that, once you start saying things like that, it changes everything, right? And, you know, like, I'm just blessed to be where I am right now. And I don't do this podcast, and I, I'm not out here talking to people, you know, because I want to sell something or I, I have another agenda. My agenda here is to help people not make the mistakes that I've made in my life. And, and that is what I want to accomplish. If I can help one person one person, I've done my job, right? So, you know, like, you know, when I have these negative thoughts, man, I take the time and I go through, my, I go into my toolbox and I do the positive reinforcement. I'll meditate, right? And, you know, I, I say the, 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 there's negative self-talk, but you know what? I do want to brush on the positive self-talk, right? And, you know, I think I said it a little bit at the beginning of, uh, of this podcast. You know, I'm a thinker. You know, I could overthink anything to, to, <laughs> to extremes. But, you know, for me, that's very helpful, right? When it's a positive thing. You know, I try to map out my day. I try to map out situations. 
I, it, you know, they don't always work the way they are. But when I'm prepared for things, when I'm in a positive mindset, and when I'm thinking positive, and I'm, my mind is filled with positive thoughts, great things happen. When my mind is filled with negative thoughts, very, very bad things happen, right? Addiction, divorce, you know, I can go, the list can go on, you know, incarceration, you know, not being with people that are important to me, not having them in my life. So, you know, I don't let my mind wander today. I stay focused. I stay present from time to time. When things happen, you make a mistake. You know, sometimes your first inclination is shit. I messed up or I made a mistake. You know, it's different than saying, there you go again. You're a failure. There you go again. You messed up again. Things happen in life. So I try to, I, what I do, and I don't try, I do it. I change my thoughts. And, you know, I hope something, somebody got out of, got something out of this today. You know, um, you know, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you change your mindset. I'm here if you need anything. You know, you can always reach out. I'm be on all my social media channels. I'm always available. Um, but the best way to help each other is by you going out here and sharing this, liking this, leaving a comment, and just get it out there organically, right? Like, share, subscribe. That's all I ask from you today. Um, you know, I hope you got something out of this. I'll see you next week. Have a great day.